I'm going to show you how to use the ACS AN Commons base AJAX component to AJAXify any of your components uh, very quickly. So this allows any component in Securely to be AJAXed in. Uh, this is very handy if you have a, a cacheable page, but you have a, you know, a few elements or a few components on the page that need to be uh, AJAXed in due to dynamic content um, or anything like that. Um, this works for components included via the CQ include. Um, or via components dragged into a parsis. So let's take a look. We'll be using the AM Kest demo uh, homepage and we'll be uh, Ajaxifying our Q&A component um, down here that we created in a previous episode. So it's quite easy to do. Let's go ahead and go to the ACS AM uh, project page and uh, let's look at the base Ajax component feature. Um, down here we'll see a few prereqs. We need jQuery 1.8. Um, in our project uh, before we uh, used jQuery 1.10, so we're fine there. Uh, in a previous episode, we've installed the ACS AM Commons um, package. Uh, this is actually now a sub package of our AM Cast demo project. Um, next thing is we want to add the a ACS Commons components uh, li client library to our AM Cast demo uh, client libraries. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this, jump into our project go down to our uh, Etsy client libs AM casts uh, demo all and I'm going to be adding this uh, to the all library. Um, I, I could add this to the main uh, but main is typically uh, maintained uh, more by the UI or uh, front end teams um, where this is kind of a almost a system level um, include. Next thing we need to do is find our component and set its sling resource super type to be the ACS Commons base Ajax component. So I'm going to come back here to my content project. I'm going to drill down into q and I'm going to go to the content XML, which defines the uh, CQ component node. So the sling resource super type, just paste that in there. And the next thing we need to do is uh, change the actual script name. Uh, if we left our script to be script name to be q-n-a.jsp, uh, this would be the default script. And this would actually prevent any sort of bubble up to the uh, resource super type for a normal um, default script resolution. So by default with the, the base Ajax component, if we rename this to ajax.jsp, uh, this is going to be invoked in Ajax in. So um, this looks good. We can, If we wanted to, we could actually change this name by setting a Ajax selectors property on the component itself. And then we would want to use whatever this uh, selector string is to resolve to our, um, our JSP to render the component as we AJAX it in. And as you can see down here, if we have uh, two selectors, we'd actually need um, to have the folder-based um, script resolution scheme uh, that Sling uses. So we'll just use the AJAX for now. And I'll go ahead and install. I'm going to jump over and let's load it with uh, the edit mode first. So as you can see here, I'm looking at my network traffic, and if I uh, filter by XHR, um, you'll actually see that we don't have this component being Ajaxed in. Uh, and that's because uh, in author mode, you don't really need it. Um, it just kind of adds, uh, adds weight to the overall authoring process, and uh, we want to make this as sleek as, and efficient as possible. So the way to, to check this out is to go into preview mode or set the WSM mode to be disabled. I like disabled since it gives a truer picture of um, how things happen on the published server. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. And uh, you couldn't see it there, but you can actually see that it is pulling it in via Ajax. So I'm going to clear it again and I'm going to refresh the page and hopefully you'll be able to see the flicker of this as it kind of gets pulled in. So there we go. I don't know if you saw the, the very, very quick jump on this is page loaded, um, but this got Ajaxed in. And you can see here uh, there is a XHR call made out to it, um, and it actually pulls in the contents of this component. And if we're on the page, then we can interact with it as we normally would. So there we go. We've just Ajaxed in a uh, component that we previously built. Uh, it was very, very easy to do, and um, we could work with our dispatcher team to ensure that these, these requests based on the selectors are not cached, and we'll have um, a highly cacheable yet still dynamic page.